Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pokemon the Battle Revolution The Last of Us and in this battle I am featuring Christine which is the gravity team. I'm sorry for the cut selection screen. Um, now in the previous battle if you watched I used Gina and she was up against two ice types with a very sneaky uh, evasion shenanigans going on but we we managed to prevent that. So I am going to go for the gravity and start setting up with Alakazam and Purugly because that is what my guys are here to do. That's what they do and that's what they will always do. So um, Purugly is going to go for the fake out on the uh, Zapdos because I have a hunch and my hunch says that there is a discharge Thunder, maybe Thunderbolt, maybe Rain Dance combo coming up because um, that's what Zapdos does when it's paired with uh, Jolteon. It's a dead giveaway. Everyone knows that. So I am going to rid the Zapdos of the Discharge this turn because I do not want to risk the Paralysis. So um, I'm going to go for the Gravity. And now Alakazam is faster than Jolteon, which is one thing. And the second thing is Thunderbolt goes off and it does not bring me down to my focus sash, which means that this Jolteon has got some special, maybe physical bulk invested in it, I'm not sure, but the thing is that I now understand what this set is about. So Alakazam is going to go for a swagger, because now I am faster than everything, which means that I do not have a problem, and um, I'm going to go for a swagger on Perogly and hopefully get some paralysis on that Elector, because uh, in 4th gen, uh, well, in, until every generation, until 6th gen, uh, electric types could be paralyzed, which is very good that uh, people in Game Freak kind of uh, fix that up, because how can you paralyze electricity? It's like getting water wet or burning fire, so... Um, I'm going to get my own tempo thing going on. Body Slam will not be enough to take out these Zapdos, because it is invested, but it does a hell of a big of a chunk. So, Jolteon will take out Alakazam, no problem, but um, that is good news for me because sometimes Alakazam stays in too long and uh, dies at the moment where I have to set up another gravity or is at low health and dies to priority, so Discharge goes off, hits Perogly, brings it at below half, and the bad thing, uh, the good thing is that I did not get paralyzed. Now the bad thing is that um, Jolteon is untouched and I really have to get that thing out of the way. So what I'm going to do here, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to send in RK9 because RK9 is amazing like that. That is what RK9 does. It is, it is something to be feared, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go for the Intimidate and um, I'm going to render Zapdos and Jolteon useless because of physical attackers. Yes! So, um... I love this Arcanine for one reason, because I made such a cool spread on this, I did not put, you know, 252 on two stats and uh, did my cross and expected shit to happen. I spread the EVs very thinly across every single stat, I put a bit in speed, I, you know, HP is invested as you can see from Arcanine's HP bar, it's at 181, it is kind of bulky and Arcanine is amazing like that, so you will soon see what our K9 is fully capable of and why I have it on that team. Now that's that said it has is to help and uh, also sweep if it can. Now with the gravity up it can get off some fire blasts and deliver a very powerful and painful fire type move. So I used to have a Shadow Claw on Perugly but I decided to put Toxic on it because gravity is also going to help it not miss. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for the Body Slam uh, hit the Jolteon, won't be enough to take it out. Oh, actually it is. Oh, wow. um, I did not expect that. Ladies and gentlemen, I thought the Jolteon would be, uh, would survive it. Beautiful. One hit KO. Well done. I, I must say, well done to my, um, to my Perugly. So, um, Zapdos goes for the Roost. Now, it doesn't really matter because TORCHED BY FIRE BLAST! That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about. The good thing with my um, our canine is that it got a very lucky critical hit, and I did not expect that to happen, not at all, I am dead honest. Um, well, you, what can you do? Critical hits, it happens sometimes, sometimes it doesn't, so uh, it was very beneficial. So, in comes Darkrai, and that is something that I do not, I repeat, do not want to deal with. So, I'm going to go for a Fire Blast 
on Darkrai because that thing can be a problem. Now, I do have Sceptile and I'm very, very certain that my Sceptile can outspeed it. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a Body Slam on uh, Darkrai and get it out of the way because it is it, it will be a problem if I do not deal with it right now. So, unless it has Protect, it is pretty much screwed. So, Body Slam goes first, ladies and gentlemen, which is amazing. Uh, it is not going to kill it, but the good thing is, since my opponent is obviously going to go for the Dark Void, it gets paralyzed but heals itself with a Lumberry. Uh, which is very common on Dark Rai. So Dark Void goes off, hits both of my guys, but, but, let, let, let's see it, but, 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 or can I fall asleep, but, dun, 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 I have the Lumberry, and I'm gonna blast your ass from here to New Glokenshire. Get out of here, Dark Rai. This is the last time Christine will defy Dark Rai in the face, and what better way to end PBR than shooting fires of st st you know starry fires in Dark Rai's face? So um, Confuse Ray is going to go off, and uh, it will not affect my Perugly. So what I am going to do here, ladies and gentlemen, is I am going to get the residual damage going on that um, uh, going on uh, off what's it face uh, Noctali. And uh, Will-O-Wisp will help cripple it, unless it's a sleep uh, variant, which I highly doubt. So, Will-O-Wisp, uh, if I decide to click Noctali, uh, which is Umbreon in German or Italian, I'm not sure. It sounds Italian, but uh, I was told previously that it could be German, so... Um, there's still three minutes left on the clock, and you'll say why, and I will say one thing. Umbreon is a pain in the ass to take down, but luckily I have someone that has the tools to take care of such a situation. Now, I'm going to switch out Perugly because I won't be needing it, because I can take it out. I can take uh, the uh, Umbreon out. So, the good thing about will o -Wisp is that I can get the burn residual damage going on without getting burned myself because it cannot um, hurt me whatsoever. Uh, because I am a fire type and you cannot burn fire like I previously said and gravity just decided to return to normal whereas Alakazam when you need him. Oh well, we guess, I guess we have to make do with what we have here. Now, our canine, ladies and gentlemen, is an amazing Pokemon. Do not underestimate it. So I'm like, should I go for a helping hand and hope to god that Sceptile does not miss with Focus Blast? But uh, I was like, maybe I should get some residual damage going on. I was not sure, so I was like, okay, save our canine for later. Uh, did I actually switch it out? No, I didn't. Uh, it would have been wiser for me to save our canine because it can do some damage. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for the focus blast because I do not want to lower my def my special attack just yet. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I am going to switch out. Yes, I finally switched out our canine into Perugly to shake to shake off the confusion and um, get some damage going on it. So focus blast. Hopefully will not miss, but it will not take out an Umbreon at almost for health, uh, even with a life orb, because it is not stabbed. I believe that stab would have made a difference there, so uh, my opponent goes for the Dark Pulse on my Perugly, where our canine used to be, but it doesn't really matter because the burn is going to take hold of it, and what I can do here is I can finish it off dramatically with a Leaf Storm or miss and, you know, uh, have that Noctali rest and, you know, slap my face. But I could have gone for the Helping Hand, uh, but in reality I really wanted to fodder off my Perugly while I do damage with Sceptile because it can do some damage. Now, I would have really, really would have had rest on this thing, so what I'm going to do is I could go for a save hidden power um, but I wanted to make a dramatic ending so I was like you know what this is Christine's last battle hit it with the leaf storm hit it sister just hit it. I mean you know sister or you know you're not so um, hit it brother just give it a nice leaf storm finish it off and end everything epically like this team deserves so what it's what's gonna happen here is leaf storm is gonna go off take out the Umbreon and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the game. Sceptile made another amazing kill here. And um, my guys, everyone except Alakazam, who is not meant to kill, made a kill. So I guess this team was also pretty much complete. So I hope you enjoyed the battle. Stay tuned because there is another one coming your way. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and comment. Goodbye.